Life and Stuff is the first episode of the first season of Roseanne and the only episode that I have seen. I, long story short, I was reading one of Debbie Reynolds' memoirs and she happened to mention the episode of Roseanne that she was in and it made me realise I'd never given Roseanne a chance. For what it's worth, I think Debbie Reynolds is in the ninth season, so I have a long way to go before I get there. But based on this first episode... I think this is going to be a really great journey. I don't know how frequently I'm going to watch the show, but for now, I'm I'm pretty happy to give it a solid go. The first episode was directed by Ellen uh, Gilletson, or Gilletson, and stars, of course, Roseanne Barr as Roseanne. We also have John Goodman as Dan. We also have George Clooney as Booker Brooks. I did not realise that he was in this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing... Who else is in this as I I go through the series? Martin Mull is in quite a lot of it, but not for a little while yet. But that's something else to look forward to. So this first episode is a really solid, very impressive introduction to the show. So there will be spoilers as I talk about various things that happen. And it starts off with a really solid intro. It's in the morning. I think that's a really great way to start off uh, a series is to have it in the morning when everybody's getting ready to start their days. It helps to lay the foundations about the dynamic within the household. And we learn that Roseanne will be going to work and her husband, Dan, might be going to work. He might be starting a new job. I think that's a really great way to set up the dynamic between the two of them, the roles they play within the marriage. The children are all getting ready to go to school, of course. And then we're at work with Roseanne, and I didn't expect to see her workplace quite so soon. And I was very impressed by that, as it meant we had an introduction to a lot of different characters very quickly, really setting the tone for the kinds of characters, the kinds of comedy, the roles, the comedic roles, the different characters are going to play. It is a lot to take in, in a very short space of time. I don't yet remember every character's name, for example, and I think that that's something that will become very easy if we are meeting a lot of characters very quickly and getting to jump around to different scenes. That's unusual for a a first episode of a sitcom to have so many characters introduced in such a short space of time and then we go to her daughter's school to meet her daughter's I think her history teacher and I thought immediately that's another set that's a lot of sets okay so it's three sets but in a short space of time and again that is so rare for a first episode of a sitcom and it makes me think that there must have been a decent amount of money behind this and that they must have had a lot of faith in the series so early on. And that puts me in a really excitable frame of mind as I look forward to what else they explore. It seems like there is a, a lot of um, faith in this show very early on, and I'm really keen to see what they do with that. But I was very impressed, very impressed with the variety in this first episode. And then we have the end of the day, or at least the end of the working day, the end of the school day. Roseanne is home from work. Her children are home from school. Dan is home from whatever it was that he was doing, and it's chaos. And I think it's a a very typical representation of this kind of home life with, you know, a typical family. And there's an argument that breaks out, and then Roseanne and Dan work together to help their daughter who's cut her finger and it's ultimately a really lovely scene. It's a very quick episode. A lot happens in a very short space of time. We are introduced to a lot of characters both within and outside of the family and it's a lot to take in but it's also very funny. Most of the comedy for me came from Roseanne and her dry lines, her wit, her retorts to things that other people say. So I assume that that's the kind of comedy we're going to get going forward. And if it is, brilliant. I love dry humour. I'm keen to see what kind of comedy the other characters bring forward. Dan had some comedy, not so much from anybody else at this stage. So I'm looking forward to exploring those in more detail. But I thought Life and Stuff was a really solid introduction to Roseanne. And as I said, I don't know how frequently I'm going to watch it. I'm obviously not yet quite addicted to it, but I am really looking forward to seeing which actors pop up throughout it and what storylines they cover, how many other sets we get to explore. 
I feel like at this stage, I have no idea what to expect. I think it's going to be pretty unpredictable. The style of comedy seems like it's one that would appeal to me very much. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. Definitely enjoyed this first episode. Can't wait to see what else season one has in store.